You and AI, there's a saying credited to Benjamin Franklin, when you're finished changing, you're finished. And it's a helpful way to understand the urgency that sports teams feel to keep up and the evolving technology. Our Mike Berman spent time with local teams and got an inside look at how they're using the latest advances to accomplish their ultimate goal, win. He's not an athlete. He's a mathlete. You probably need more information. But believe it or not, this man has right. massive influence on the Chicago Fire's wins and losses. It's been pretty cool, especially growing up a Chicago Fire fan, being able to work now at the club, help the club make better decisions has been really validating. Kevin Minkus is his name. Analytics are his game. The Glen Ellen native leads the Fire's analytics department that uses advanced technology including forms of artificial intelligence, to gain an edge in performance, scouting, and recruitment. We've scored goals specifically exploiting uh, work that our machine learning modeling has told us are uh, areas we can attack. Wearable GPS devices help Minkus and the Fire collect enormous amounts of valuable data during both training and matches. The devices are distributed by a company called Huddle that works with elite teams across the globe. You can really understand a player's load live during practice and live during the game, you can really optimize every single training and practice session to make sure you're hitting that, that optimal level of load that kind of matches game pace, but doesn't overshoot and start getting into that soft tissue injury territory. Five athletic programs at Northwestern use similar wearable devices, including the Wildcats women's soccer team. We want fast, strong, resilient, fit athletes, and how we make sure that you know we get them to that point so when they're in the season, they're ready to go. We could tell them somewhat subjectively, like, it doesn't look like you're running enough. Like, you gotta cover more ground. And they're like, oh man, I'm working, you know, I'm really working. And I, I feel like I'm covering a lot of ground. Well, we can pull out the data and be like, look, like the player on the other team covered this much, you only covered this much. Like, there's room to make up. And they're like, whoa, okay, light goes on and they start changing the way they train and um, so that they can meet those physical demands. All right, Jordan, go ahead and step on. Inside a school weight room, the men's basketball team uses a different piece of technology, jump. a force plate, which measures things like jump, height, we'll speed, and force, power, plus if athletes are favoring well. one side of their body. It really does give us some insight as to what's going on. It allows us to put some data to some of these subjective measures we've had in the past. And not just asking how an athlete feels, we have some data to, to really back that up. Are your guys worn out? Do they, do they have more to give? You know, what, what do the numbers bear? What does the science tell you? And it's just amazing the amount you know, of things we now have to, to kind of quantify these areas and, and help our athletes be at their very best. We asked all of the top level pro and college teams in town to show us how they're using AI and advanced technology, but the majority of them turned us down. Are they hiding what they think is a secret advantage? One thing we do know, at least at the pro level, is analytics departments are common and often big. Of the Chicago teams that told us they have one, the Cubs is the biggest with more than 30, followed by the Blackhawks with 11. For those who did talk to us, they agree advanced technology in sports will only grow as teams try and gain any edge they can to win. The one thing that I see is possibly an advent of uh, AI in this space is being able to interpret the data that, that we have and maybe see something that humans don't. We'll see uh, larger departments and maybe more data-driven processes on the whole as everyone sort of in the arms race to continue to find those edges over the rest of the competition. I'm almost scared to think what it's gonna look like in the next 10 years from what we have now. Mike Berman, NBC5 Sports.